Hey, it's Greg over at DIY RV Home, Campus Life. Thought I'd show you uh, what uh, carport we've got here. It's a 10 by 20 garden sill. And we've been using it since we've been here in Quartzsite. Uh, we put it up uh, the end of October, about 28th of October. And uh, today is January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year. Uh, so far, we've had probably, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say a quarter inch of rain uh, first thing this morning. And as you can hear the wind blowing and howling against the, the tent here or the carport, uh, we've had some sustained winds of upwards of 40 miles an hour. So I thought I'd just take a second and uh, share with you my thoughts on this uh, carport that we got. Now, most of it's good. I mean, she's still standing. She looks pretty good. She comes with uh, bungees, everything to uh, put it together. It's got locking uh, pins for uh, your... Uh, posts and everything like that um, You've got Some nylon or excuse me nylon uh, velcro uh, To hook around the posts and it's got reinforcement on the uh, sidewalls for that Four windows And both ends are zippered we use this as our uh, front one of the bad things I found is that right down here, uh, that's what is supposed to help keep that uh, in place, the sidewall in place, hold it down. Uh, with the wind blowing out something like that, that would have ripped out with nothing flat. So I went ahead and added some eyes to the, uh, the sidewalls and then added more bungees to it, bungee balls. That uh, actually done really good. Uh, We've taken and we have uh, just a few uh, strings outside that are straight down into the ground just to help keep the, the top on or yes and that came with it but what didn't come with it is uh, ratchet straps we've got uh, 16 of them on we got 12 on the sides so six per side and then we've got two on the back two on the front uh, cross to help with the racking of it you know, and you can see we just have them wrapped around the cross piece right here and then it goes down and it's attached to a rebar that's about 18 inches long a rebar spike that's what's keeping this thing down we've got uh, lag bolts that are actually hammered into the ground they're about a six eight inch piece or a six eight inch lag bolt to help keep the post from moving around also Windows are netted, Velcro, you can roll them up, uh, not too bad. One thing I don't like is on the ends, uh, to try to roll it up, it's kind of a pain if you, one person. It'd be neat if there was a way to put a little bar there, I might add something to it, just so you can roll it up. But the carport itself, I'm actually impressed with, especially with today's uh, storm coming through. Uh, our other uh, quick shade uh, took some damage and uh, so that's going to be going in the garbage at the end of the year. This one, probably going to come back next year, hopefully for a few couple more years. But anyways, let's go outside, show you what she looks like on the outside. Alright, so here's a view from the outside. Like I said, I've just got one string attached to the top, going down, anchored down. You've got, uh, here's that window. You can roll the window up, Velcro it in place. Two per side. But she looks like she wants to uh, fly away, but she's held tight, um, stay in place this whole time. Like I say, those uh, ratchet straps in the uh, cross help it out quite a bit. So. Anyways, if you guys are thinking about uh, getting this tent uh, so far with a couple modifications, it's been quartzite approved and DIY RV and home approved. If you liked it, if it helped you out, share it, like it, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, happy camping.